In early 2023, the KM3Net Neutrino Observatory detected an incredibly high-energy neutrino, KM3-230213A, with an energy of 220 PeV, setting a new record. This discovery has sparked discussions about its origins, with some suggesting it could provide the first evidence of dark matter. In this video, we'll explore the details of this finding, its potential link to dark matter, and what future data might reveal. <clears throat> On February 13, 2023, the CAN3Net Observatory recorded the detection of KM3-230213A, a neutrino within, a neutrino within, astonishing energy level of 220 PeV. For context, this is over 100 times the energy of the highest energy neutrino previously detected. <clears throat> Neutrinos are extremely elusive particles that are difficult to detect because they interact very weakly with other matter. This makes them valuable probes for understanding distant cosmic events, as they can pass through entire galaxies without being absorbed or scattered. The KM3Net Observatory is located deep beneath the Mediterranean Sea and consists of an array of detectors that can capture the faint signals produced by high-energy particles as they pass through the Earth's crust. When a high-energy neutrino interacts with matter, it produces secondary particles like muons, which are easier to detect. In this case, the neutrino produced a muon that traveled through the detector, setting off signals in over one-third of the active sensors. The most striking feature of KM3230213 a aside from its energy level, was its trajectory. The neutrino seemed to have traveled a near-horizontal path, which suggests it came from a distant astrophysical source. This is important because it points to the possibility that this particle is not just another background event. It could be a signal of something much more profound, such as the interactions of dark matter. The energy and path of KM3-230213 a have sparked interest in the potential connection between high-energy neutrinos and dark matter, an invisible substance that makes up about 27% of the universe. While this discovery is still being analyzed, it opens up the possibility that neutrinos like KM3-230213 a might be a new way to study dark matter indirectly. With KM3-230213A's incredible energy in mind, the next question is, where did this neutrino come from? The majority of high-energy neutrinos detected by observatories like KM3Net are typically attributed to extreme astrophysical sources, such as blazars, supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies that emit powerful jets of particles. These jets can accelerate particles to extremely high energies, potentially producing neutrinos in the process. In addition to blazars, other potential sources of high-energy neutrinos include gamma-ray bursts and supernovae, cataclysmic events that release immense amounts of energy. However, KM3230213A's unusual characteristics have led some scientists to entertain more speculative possibilities, especially regarding dark matter. One intriguing theory is that KM3230213A could be linked to dark matter. Although dark matter is invisible and cannot be directly detected, some theoretical models suggest that it could interact with regular matter in ways that produce detectable particles, such as neutrinos. The idea is that dark matter particles might decay or collide with other particles, producing secondary particles like muons. These muons could then travel through Earth and be detected by neutrino telescopes. If the neutrino detected by KM3Net was indeed the product of dark matter interactions, this would be a breakthrough in dark matter research. For decades, scientists have attempted to detect dark matter through its gravitational effects or direct detection methods, but the evidence has remained elusive. A discovery like KM3230213A could offer the first direct evidence that dark matter is interacting with normal matter in detectable ways. If more high-energy neutrinos with similar characteristics are detected, it could provide the evidence needed to open a new chapter in the study of dark matter.
the discovery of KM3-230213A could be a game-changer changer in dark matter research. If this neutrino is linked to dark matter, it could offer a new way to detect dark matter indirectly, revolutionizing a field that struggled with direct detection. Dark matter is believed to account for roughly 27% of the universe's total mass, but it doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it invisible to traditional telescopes. While its existence has been inferred from its gravitational effects on galaxies and galaxy clusters, direct detection has proven challenging. Current methods, such as using underground detectors or particle accelerators, have yet to yield definitive results. If the connection between high-energy neutrinos and dark matter holds, it could offer a new way to detect dark matter's properties. Neutrinos are capable of traveling vast distances through space without being absorbed or scattered, making them ideal messengers from faraway regions. Detecting neutrinos produced by dark matter interactions could provide scientists with a better understanding of its nature and behavior. At present, KM3NET's detection of KM3230213A is just the beginning. As the full KM3NET array is completed by the end of the decade, the observatory will be able to collect much more data, providing scientists with a clearer picture of high-energy neutrinos and their potential links to dark matter. If more high-energy neutrinos are detected, it could strengthen the case for dark matter's role in their production. As we look to the future, the continued development of neutrino telescopes and the analysis of incoming data may eventually provide the breakthrough that dark matter researchers have been waiting for. Whether or not KM3230213A was produced by dark matter, its detection signals an exciting new era in the study of the universe's most mysterious and energetic particles. The discovery of KM3230213A is a big step in dark matter research. While its connection to dark matter isn't confirmed, it opens exciting possibilities for detecting dark matter through its interactions with normal matter. As Cam3Net gathers more data, we could be on the brink of a groundbreaking discovery.